When I'm up through the night Start I can't turn the down the noise They nail Thumping Power serve Well fielded though by the Libero Rebenikov in Second touch Third touch And indeed it's 3-0 Float serve immediately gives the chance to Japan. Well dug out by Grabenikov. Tilly finding himself mid court. Smash down. Points for Kevin Tilly. Finish that time. Fushimi off the block. Boyer oh, yeah. back in the heart of the action. That serve goes out by Gubenikov. Lovely tip. Nuru in with the deftest of touches at the net. He has the height, two metres nine. It's the uh, highest of anyone in the French ranks. This off the tape. Denel missed his chance there for France, just on that opposite side. But when it came to the other flank, Boyer did what was required of him. Well, you're looking there at basically yesterday. France respond in kind. They have their side out again straight away. Laps that, almost turned into an ace. Third touch has to come over, Rebenikov. And hoisted up high by Lineo, it's a free ball. Japan taking a while to size up their options. Two-handed push over the net, finally the attempt at the kill. And he made it, Lineo. did well to make that rally last as long as they did. So 12-10, 12, 12 11, no nonsense, Nishida. Osano serving. And Boyer coming in to finish it. Oh, brilliant save. Comes back from the Libero. But France again with Boyer, and again it's picked up. Koga does it. Able to set it for Nishida, uh, Japan had no right to win that rally, but they did. Some missed opportunities in this set so far from the French, I think. We'll see. Michael moving back to today. Can serve for how long here? Get their blockers working at the net, they can't, so Japan will remain on serve here. Three white shirts are forming that wall. That's his first point of this third set. Off the blocker. Japan level up. Tilly, it gives the 
the Japanese the initiative. Thrown over the net there, free ball for Japan. Dug in by Grabenikov. Weir keeps it going, third touch has to come over. The dump shot from Linnale. Reverse set, and I think they found the corner. Uh, rattling one through. Good shot. Gonna serve here for Japan. And the Shida made himself so so big at the net. This is only one thing you remember from me. It's a blocking it with the lower part of the Chilliniesi serving for France. Boya tips it. Well read by Sakita. Come to the opposite now. Block bouncing out. To this match. The captain turned, the ball doesn't come back. Another block for Brazil, this time Bruno shutting down Kovatrevich. Kovatrevich, who was substituted out towards the end of the last set, in for this one, but he just at the moment. Shown by both these teams. I'm supposed to be a statue. Just about all that uh, Tanisiewicz could do. Serbia now have control of the ball. That's as much as they would have liked, though. Well, I don't believe this rally's still going. It looked like the ball was in the net, then it looked like it hit the floor. And now it's a net touch against Serbia. Unbelievable, Wallace was in the back row having a cup of tea watching us. Set three underway, Serbia with the serve through Podreskin in. Serbia leading 2 nothing. See quick behind, and Lucas puts the ball down. This is another thing that makes the good teams from the great, the ability and availability. The ball in from Marilla. Maurizio just hammering it off the hands and away. Maurizio, 1 meter 99, 100 kilos. All of them going into the ball and off. Oh, I don't believe what I'm seeing. The Serbian players won't believe what they've just seen. Wallace wins a point by volleying it over the net. Away by Souza through the middle. Brazil side out emphatically. Good ball in from Lippe, available to attack. That hit, Atanasievich had to stay. Listen, as was then guessing, didn't know what to do. Once again. Well watched by 
Maurizio. Four options available. Maurizio gets it. That's a really good play off the chest from Atanasievic. Not so many options now. And Maurizio has put it off the block, along the net, into the antenna.